Well, I want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. I want to thank uh, Mayor Ed Pulaski for being here. He's been a great uh, friend and uh, mentor through this. He has a tremendous amount of experience. I have a great deal of respect for what he's done for the city of Allentown. I am an Allentown guy. I grew up there my whole life. Uh, I think it's a wonderful place. I think Malia Valley is an amazing community. And that's really part of the reason that I'm doing this. Um, I think that we have a lot of opportunities to do things differently. And uh, what better way to do it than to, to serve your community and to step up for the people that matter. Um, I want to thank Representative Bob Freeman for being here. Uh, he's a fantastic state legislator. He's someone that I hope to look forward to uh, spending more time with and learning from. Uh, I want to thank Jennifer Mann for her kind words. Um, I'm a little bit uh, taken aback. She's a, a tremendous uh, asset to our Lehigh Valley community, and for her to say such nice things is just uh, is tremendous. Uh, I hate to say the word humble because I think a lot of politicians like to say the word humble, but they're not really humble. So I'm just going to say thank you to her for saying such nice things. Um, I want to say thank you to my family. I see my dad is here, uh, Mr. Richard Slattery, so it's great to see my dad. And I want to thank my wife, who's hiding somewhere probably. Um, she uh, doesn't want any limelight, but I want to thank my wife, Nikki, and my boys. And uh, because I kind of tell you, uh, this has been a crazy experience already. Um, you like to think that politics is sort of straightforward and you sort of know what you're getting into before you do it because you've read things or you've seen other politicians. But uh, once you start to really get into it, it takes on a whole new perspective. And I think it does something uh, quite amazing. It really makes you look at yourself and, and, and try to determine what you're all about and, uh, and how you want to take that internal drive and make it work for your community. And uh, I have to tell you, you really do, it's amazing. You find some things out about yourself that you never uh, really thought of. And uh, I just, uh, uh, I have to, I'll say this all the time, I have to be honest. I think it would be nice to have some honest politicians. Um, and I think we have some in this room tonight. So before I, I'm losing my notes already here, but I'm here to say that I want to be the next state representative for this district in the 134th. But I, what I'll appreciate more is working hard in 2010 to make it happen. It's not going to happen just with me. Everybody who's ever run for office knows that you don't do it by yourself. And you really aren't doing it for yourself. You're doing it for something greater than yourself. And if I can tap into that with everyone in this room, and you can multiply that times 10 or times 20 or times 30 and get people energized next year, we will have a real chance at doing this. You guys can do it. But if we learned a lesson from 2009, a lot of very talented, well-meaning, hard-working people were unrewarded. And they were unrewarded because we did not come out and vote. And that is what it comes down to at the end of the day. And we cannot let that happen next year. My race is important, but there are a lot of other important races that are going to make a big difference in people's lives in this community and in our country. And we need to get people energized and motivated to get out there and do what they need to do to, rep to uh, work for the candidates they, they think represent their values. Um, one thing that everyone asks me when I'm out talking, they say, well, why are you doing this? And you know, I sort of use the, uh, I stole it from Obama, I have to tell you. Uh, I used the, I fell down and hit my head on a rock. And I got up and I decided to run for office. And it hasn't worn off yet. Um, and that's a little bit cliche. But where I'd like to start the conversation is really who I am. Each one of us has many roles that we play in our life. You, know, you start off, you're someone's son or daughter, uh, you're a student, you're an athlete maybe, you're uh, a friend, uh, you're someone's colleague, you're a taxpayer, hopefully, eventually. Um, you're a, a coach, I coach my kids' uh, sports teams. Uh, I'm an MBA, so people say, oh, he's an MBA, he has a master's degree in business administration. So you take on all these different roles. I'm a husband and a father. I'm also a candidate and a Christian and a Democrat. So we're playing all these roles. And I think one thing that I've learned in this is that the most important roles that I have are not as a Democrat or as a candidate, but it's as a husband and a father. And I think that's something that I will be talking with people about because there has to be that balance. And I think the representative, the elected official, who forgets why they're here and what they're doing and that their family is really what comes first. I think they do a disservice to their constituents by not having the balance that they need to have. I think the representative should be someone who 
who takes care of their primary business first, which is my family. And we're going to have some struggles and some sacrifices will be made, but at the end of the day, those are one and two in my book and everything else is a distant third. Um, I think that's something good. What do you think?